Sony's top of the line WH-1000XM4 versus Bose's second in line the Bose QuietComfort 45. There can be only one winner. Goede dag, we're DHRME. Do headphone reviews mean everything? Let's get the two simple similarities out of the way first. Number one, the build quality. Both the QC45 and XM4 have an unapologetically plastic build, but don't feel creaky or fragile. They both fold up in the same way and can be fitted into a reasonably compact carrying case. And number two, both of these headphones are great for your work from homers and multi-device owners since they cannot connect to two devices at once. And in our opinion, they get the job done. You might have some Bluetooth connectivity hiccups, but that's got more to do with the current state of Bluetooth than these headphones specifically. Now, as to where there's a significant difference and what might affect your purchase decision, Here's the lowdown. The Bose QuietComfort's name is better than the garbled letters and numbers on the Sony WH-1000XM4. The name also literally reflects two of the most important things about it, quiet and comfort. And on comfort, it pretty much delivers. The shape and size of the cups ensures that most ears, well, ours at least, sit within the cups. If you have XL ears, and we're not judging because different hearing requires many ears, this might not be a big help. On the clamping force side, we think the QC45 has a bit of a harder clamp, but that might loosen over time. Both have plush headbands for comfort, which are okay, but not AirPods Max levels of crown comfort. Let's hope, the Sony XM4 are not uncomfortable by any stretch of the imagination, so the difference here is small. On looks, which are also subjective, the Bose are a little more compact, though certainly not understated with the big shiny Bose logos on either cup. I prefer the Bose and Rowan the Sony, but we can agree that the Bose stick out less from your head. The Sony's come in a black, beige, and a limited silent white, which is pretty sweet looking, but very scratch attractive, whereas the Bose come in black and smoky white. And while the eye candy is subjective, the finger candy award goes to the Sony for its touch surface, but that doesn't come without its issues. You know, we may be old school, but the Bose buttons just work. Cold weather, hot weather, nude finger weather, gloves weather, they work as expected. The Sonys do seem a bit smarter with all the touching and swiping, but at the same time, that can be a touch unreliable. A touch. See what we did there? Touch that like button down there. And while all the other things you mentioned are close, the phone calls are a clear win for the Bose. In quiet conditions, in noisy conditions, and it has more Fakman call controls. You trust us, right? You don't? You do, but you want to verify? Okay, here are some call samples. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. Pop pop popsicle, ice ice icicle, test test testing, one, two, three. Pop pop popsicle, ice ice icicle, test test testing, one, two, three. Pop pop popsicle, ice ice icicle, test test testing, one, two, three. Pop pop popsicle, ice ice icicle, test test testing, one, two, three. Pop pop popsicle, ice ice icicle, test test testing, one, two, three. Pop pop popsicle, ice ice icicle, test test testing, one, two, three. Pop pop popsicle, ice ice icicle. Test, test, testing, one, two, three. Pop, 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 school, ice, 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 school. Test, test, testing, one, two, three. Pop, 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 school, ice, 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 school. Test, test, testing, one, two, three. Pop, 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 school, ice, 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 school. Test, test, testing, Pop, 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 school, ice, 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 school. Test, test, testing, one, two, three. Pop, 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 school, ice, 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 school. Test, test, testing, one, two, three. Pop, 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 school. Ice ice icicle, test test testing, one, two, three. Pop the popsicle, ice ice icicle, test test testing, one, two, three. If you're enjoying this video so far, do consider supporting the channel so we can continue to make more free content for you guys. Patreon is a great way, but there's a number of ways, all of which you can find in the description. Now let's move on to sound. Now that you've heard the phone calls, let's talk about how these headphones sound and the LDAC codec on the Sony gives it a theoretical technical advantage. But I doubt anyone but the most accomplished ears and to be honest that doesn't include us can make out any difference between LDAC and a good AAC implementation. Not enough to take something from mediocre to excellent anyway. Look the Sony WH-1000XM4 out of the box is just it's just one of the worst sounding headphones and that's simply because of how they've been tuned. 
They are way too dark and the bass is boomy and overall the sound is muddled and crowded. The Sonys are only usable after some serious EQing, at least for us, and after using an EQ preset like Bright and tweaking from there, they sound so much better. But even on the Bright setting, they're nowhere near as close as the QC45. The QC45s are a much more pleasantly tuned set of headphones, and I know there are some people who are gonna say, Bose sounds good, that's a sin, you don't know what you're talking about and audio and yeah. Yeah, just shut up and listen with your ears instead of your biases. The QC45s do fine in most cases. Though to my ears, they err on the side of being too bright and that really shows on some recordings. The treble is really pushed to the most that these drivers can handle, I think, because in many cases, they come off sounding too thin and shrill. Overall, they sound better out of the box than the Sony, so that's simple and good. But the biggest downside is the lack of EQ options. Unlike its elder sibling, the Bose 700. Again, this seems like an artificial limitation imposed by Bose just to get people to buy their most expensive headphones. Not cool, Bose. If you're one to be far from a charger for long periods of time, then you'll appreciate that the Sony XM4 packs a whopping 30 hours of charge as opposed to 24 hours on the Bose QC45. Hey Rowan, I guess your thick boy headphones have put that extra heft on the XM4 to good use. I like big bats and I cannot lie. You'd be safe to buy either of these headphones for top tier noise cancelling, but have a listen to these samples to see how the noise cancelling but also the transparency mode sound. Remember, these only give you an idea of how they sound. You can skip the samples using the chapters down below. This was a tough one, but we found the Sony XM4 to be marginally better for cancelling out noise. However, the difference is bigger and more noticeable in the transparency mode, letting in a lot more of ambient sound on the XM4 compared to the Bose QC45. And there's a cherry on the top for you tweakers out there. The Sony gives you a 20 point scale in which you can adjust it from full noise cancelling to full transparency. Not satisfied? You get a mode for wind noise reduction and the ability to just focus on voices. Yeah, that's some fine grain control we never ended up using, but hey, we ain't judging if you do. And speaking of tweaking, you can do more of that to your heart's content in the Sony Headphones Connect app. You get adaptive sound control, which will adjust your ANC according to the location you're at, but it can also change according to your action, whether you're sitting, walking, running, or in transit. And it gets crazier because it can also analyze your ear shape or the atmospheric pressure to adjust your noise canceling. And we're not done yet. You can set up three 60 reality audio which Sony says will give you an audio immersion experience but only works with supported apps like Diesel or Tider. Deezer or Tidal. There are also a million ways to automatically pause ANC, quick attention, favorite ANC modes. We've even made a rap about that in this video. The Bose on the other hand keeps it simple with two adjustment levels for noise cancelling. So just be quiet and aware of that. A couple of extra features the Sony's come with for those of you suffering from audio FOMO is smart pause or wearing detection, meaning that the headphones will pause audio when you remove them and resume when you wear them again. Speak to chat is uh, 
debatable feature where the headphones can detect when you're trying to talk to someone and will pause the audio and turn on transparency mode. Why is it debatable? Because if you're a singer longer, you're not gonna get along with these headphones pausing every time you think you can sing. And secondly, it is kinda rude to wear thick boys on your head and talk to people. They're just gonna be confused. Is this person even listening to me? Why do they have their ears covered? In terms of extra hardware features, the Sony ups the boast by providing the standard 3.5 to 3.5 millimeter cable instead of a 2.5 to 3.5 audio cable. And the Sony includes a flight adapter in the case as well, if that matters to you. At the end of the day, we think the choice you're making is between simple and smart. The Bose QC45s come with limited customization options, but do all of them pretty well out of the box. If you can live with that slightly shrieky treble or tame it with a third-party EQ, we think they're a pretty good choice. But, 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 the Sony WH-1000XM4s are packed with smart tech and have some of the best features on the market. At the time of this video, they're way cheaper than the Bose QC45. If you have to buy one today, use the link in the description, we would have to recommend the Sony WH-1000XM4. We think that they simply provide more value. You've been Simply Smart and we've been DHRME. Namaste.